Hi, it's David from R for the Rest of Us. I've been working with some clients recently on incorporating functions into their code, and I thought it might be helpful to make a video to show the rest of you how they work. Um, so the idea with functions is that instead of copying code that you reuse over and over and over, you instead make it into functions. This helps for a number of reasons. Most importantly, if you copy code over and over and over and then you want to make changes to it, you have to make changes in 5 or 10 or 15 places. Instead, if we make functions, we only have to make changes in one place and those changes will be propagated across your work. Let me give an example. I've downloaded some data that looks at the top schools by enrollment in five western states, California, Oregon, Washington, uh, Montana, and Idaho. Let's say I was working on a report and I wanted to show which are the top schools in each of these states. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this all the way down to here. This You can see I now have a data frame. This is again the data I downloaded. School name, state name, and enrollment. I then have developed some code here that filters to only include California. It's then going to show the top 10 uh, schools by enrollment, arrange them in descending order. I'm just going to then um, show the enrollment number in a nice fashion using the comma fun function from the scales package. I'll drop one of the, um, the variables, the state name variable, set the names, and then use the flex table and some formatting the uh, functions here, the align and width, to make a table. So you can see when I run this, I now have a table. It only shows schools in California and it shows the top 10 by enrollment. So let's say now I wanted to do this for the other states, right? I might copy this, change California here to Oregon, and then I run that. And you can see now it shows me Oregon. Do it for Washington, could do it for Montana, and I could do it for Idaho. Hadley Wickham says that anytime you copy code more than two times, you should consider making a function. I've copied this code five times, so I should definitely think about putting it into a function. And the reason is this. Right now, I'm, for example, making a report on the top 10 schools. But what if I want to change it and make it to the top 15 schools? Okay, I have to change it here. I have to go down to Oregon. I have to go down to Washington, I have to do it for Montana, and I have to do it for Idaho. This is the kind of thing that's likely to lead to mistakes. When we make a function, we're going to eliminate this possibility. Let me begin by making this code right here into a function. So the way I'm going to do it is this. I'm going to first name my function, so I'll call it top underscore schools, and then I'll assign that to and I type the word function, which is important here. And then I'm going to put open brackets, close brackets. Now, when I run this, I have generated a function here, right? So I could then type top schools. And this will then run this code, all the code within those curly brackets, right? So now it's showing me, in this case, the top 15 schools in California. But of course, when I looked at my code down here, the one thing that changed was the state, right? So I need to add an argument so that I can change the state. I'm going to call it, actually, let me just delete it here. And I'll call this state to filter. And I'm going to add it then here in my function so that I can then um, use that argument anytime I run this function. So now if I run this again, I have a function. It's still called top schools, but you can see it has an argument, which is state to filter. If I try and run this, it's not going to work because it's going to say, hey, I need an argument, a state to filter argument. So what I need to do now when I run this function is I need to give it the name of a state. So if I do top schools California, you can see anywhere where the state to filter um, shows up, it is then replaced here. So Top Schools California gives me that. If I do Top Schools Oregon, it's now showing me that uh, table, but for Oregon. So I could then replace this here, Top Schools Oregon, and here I just have to replace now Top Schools Washington, Top Schools Montana, uh, and Top Schools Idaho. So you can see I can run any of these 
and I get the top schools in each state. So I can now knit this using my function throughout, and when I open up my Word document, let's see what it looks like. Introduction, this is a report about the top 15 largest schools in the various states, and you can see I have California, shows me the top 15, Oregon, it's got the top 15, Washington top 15, Montana, and Idaho. So this is an example of how we use a function to increase the efficiency of our work. Instead of having to copy this and potentially run into issues with uh, changes to our code later on, we simply create a function with an argument, the state to filter argument that we change in order to make tables for each state.